Well, we're seeing a rising or what appears to be a rising uh, trend again across the country. We've had quite a big number of cases relative to its population in Shetland, uh, which is being very closely monitored, uh, as you would imagine. Uh, Dumfries and Galloway and the borders uh, are also showing uh, quite significant increases. But right across Scotland, the message is we really cannot be complacent in the face of the virus. That was always the case, but it is particularly the case now that we've got this new, faster spreading strain. Uh, and this is a time of year that I know people enjoy getting together, but that's not safe to do this year. And as we head into the Hogmanay and New Year period, uh, I really do appeal to people stay out of the homes of others, celebrate the New Year in your own home, only with your own household. That's how to keep yourself safe. It's how to keep people you love safe. But it's also how we help protect our National Health Service right now. The NHS is working under severe pressure. In Scotland, the numbers in hospital and in intensive care are still below the peak we saw back in the spring. But again, that doesn't give any room for complacency. The health service needs not just our gratitude right now, but it needs our support. And that means doing everything we can to suppress the virus. I'm obviously worried when we are still so firmly in the midst of a global pandemic where we've got uh, a new strain of the virus clearly uh, circulating within Scotland and the UK and another new strain that hasn't been identified uh, so much uh, in the UK, the, the South African strain. So this, this is a virus that appears to be mutating. So it is really important that we all take it seriously. On the much more positive front, we see every day that passes right now more and more people start to receive vaccination. Uh, so that is really good. Uh, but while that's happening, if we want to keep the virus suppressed, minimise the impact it has on people's health or on loss of life on the NHS, then we must be absolutely rigorous in doing all the things that we know helps to stem the spread. I said before Christmas that we are also looking at whether those areas in level four, whether we need to add any restrictions into level four. And you know, these are things that we are thinking very carefully about. It is absolutely essential that we keep this as suppressed as we possibly can while the vaccination programme gathers pace.